So today is a very exciting day because I am going to Kent to meet my new um, hamster. Her name is Pumpkin and she's a Roborowski and me and Charlie have basically adopted her um, and she's been staying at Charlie's house for about three weeks now and I'm going to be bringing her back on Monday. So today is Friday um, and I'm going to be staying in Kent over the weekend and I'm really 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 excited to see her because I have been waiting for this day for almost three weeks weeks now um so charlie's been doing a really good job taking care of her um for the past couple of weeks basically set up the cage for pumpkin already so once i get back home on monday um she'll be able to go straight into the cage because it's all set up for her she's gonna absolutely love it because it's gonna be so much better than what she's in at the moment um the cage she's in right now is one of the pets at home ones i think you can get it for maybe 35 pounds and it's a really small cage and i honestly would not recommend it um to house any hamster it's far too small and it's way under the recommended minimum size um for a hamster cage that she's going to be going into is the living world eco habitat and it's going to be the perfect size for her i will be doing a whole story time on how um we actually found out about pumpkin and all of that um once i actually get her so that will be my next video so i'm not going to go into too much detail i just thought it would be really nice to document the whole process of me going to collect her and then bringing her home and then obviously watching her running around the cage and stuff for the first time i done something very similar to this when i got cupcake and cashmere back in 2017 and that is actually one of my most viewed videos um so i thought it would be nice to do something similar again so this is the carrier i'm going to be using if you're wondering where it's from it's uh from pets at home i need to put some bedding in there as well as a house i'm going to put a water bottle or a food dish in there because the journey is only going to be an hour or less so this is the cage or nice and sub for pumpkin if you're wondering what cage this is this is the living world eco habitat and this is the medium side and this is what it looks like on the outside and the lights do turn on so that's what it looks like super super cute so if you want to see the video of me actually setting up this cage then i'll have it on screen now or i'll have it linked in the description um so that way you can see the whole process of how i put it together So Pumpkin's previous owners were feeding her on um, Harry Hamster, which is a hamster food made for Syrian hamsters. Dwarf hamsters, they need a slightly different diet. The food I feed my dwarfs is the JR Farm mixed with the Science Selective pellets. And then in here I have a jar of the older Science Selective pellets. So I tend to give my hamsters a tablespoon of this and then I'll give them like two or three pieces of this every couple of days. I did already send Charlie some of this food over so he could mix it in with the Harry Hamster. So by the time I get her here on Monday, she should be completely off the Harry Hamster and just eating the JR Farm with the Science Selective pellets. So it's three o'clock now and I'm gonna be getting picked up to go to Ken at around 4.30 to five o'clock. I've still got a little while to go. So my Russian dwarf hamster, Kashmir, she lives in the D12. She did live in the Living World cage um but i recently put her into this care i do actually need to give Kashmir a little bit of food before i go because i'm going to be gone for a few days oh she's so tiny oh she ran away <laughs> She's so small. Oh, look, there she is. Oh my god. <laughs> there she is. She's trying to climb up oh. there. She's clever. I think it'd be better if the cage weren't making so much noise. She's so quick. So good morning, it's now Saturday and I'm with 
Charlie and we're just on our way to a fish and chip shop so I just thought I'd give you guys a really quick update on Pumpkin so I did see her last night um, when I got to Charlie's house she was awake um, and she was really 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 cute she's so small but she's really fast and she is quite skittish and jumpy so she's gonna be like I don't know she's gonna be a bit difficult but I'm really looking forward to bringing her home anyway so if you guys want to see what I'm actually doing today I'm doing a Kent vlog so I'll have that like linked in the description So I apologise if you can hear any background noises, Charlie's just getting ready for work. Um, so it's coming up to 10 o'clock and I'm leaving at 10. So I need to get Pumpkin into this carrier so that I can take her home. So I put some of the tissue that I brought with me into the cage. I'm going to pick some of that up and put it into the carrier. And I'm also going to take some of the bedding out of this cage and put it into the carrier also even though there's bedding in there ready. I'm just going to mix it up because then it's a familiar scent for her. So within this cage I think I'm going to take the bendy bridge and the carrot. I'm not sure if I mentioned but this is actually a pets at home cage. It's really really tiny. So pumpkin also came with this ball and this is the only way you can really pick her up so I'm going to get her to climb in the ball and I'm going to put the ball inside the carrier and then that's how I'm going to get her in there because you can't really handle her she has actually stood on my hand for a couple of seconds like if you put your hand um in front of the ball when you open it she'll like climb on it and then jump off I'm going to bring this ball home with me because I feel like it's going to be really really useful there she is So there's Pumpkin, she's literally just run out of her house because she could probably hear the noise. Oh, she's gone back. Where's she going in there? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous?
so I've not long got home the journey was about an hour or just under an hour it wasn't too bad um pumpkin she done really really well I noticed that she was like pouncing around quite a bit when we was in the car so I put her on my lap I also had a check on uh cashmere she's managed to keep the cage intact there was a bit of substrate in her food dish over there but i emptied it um and she's made a bit of a mess in her sand dish but other than that the cage is quite um tidy which i am fairly shocked about and she did take out most of the food as well um but she's currently asleep in her rock hideaway so i haven't seen her yet. before i put pumpkin in the cage i want to take out this bendy bridge and replace it with this bendy bridge because this is the one that she had in um, her cage at Charlie's house. So I can slightly see her moving in the igloo. She's just in the corner. There she is. So what I'm planning on doing as well is emptying some of this bedding back into this cage because I mixed in some of the substrate from the cage she was already in. Pumpkin is extremely, extremely skittish. She is a very, very, very um, friendly hamster. She doesn't try and bite you. She just doesn't really want to be um, handled. So I'm going to very carefully lift up this. Hello. I'm gonna try and be as quiet as possible. I think I'll just leave the ball in there and wait for her to climb in. Oh, that was quick. You gonna stay in there? Good. Hello. Oops. She does walk into the ball quite easily, so that's helpful. So at the moment, Pumpkin is just exploring the hallway in the ball. I thought I'd let her run around in the ball for a little bit because I need to empty out the stuff inside the um, carrier. gonna do now is fill up her water bottle so this is just the food I've dished out for her um, is something that she's familiar with. So I've got the cage all set up now. I don't think there's anything else that I need to add to it um, so I can go and get pumpkin out the ball. If you're wondering what my opinion is on hamster balls, I'm not completely for them and I'm not against them. Um, I know some people definitely don't use them. I feel like they can come in handy because I don't tend to use them like when I had cupcake and cashmere because in my hallway it's completely empty so if I shut all the doors it makes a big L shape um, and then I can usually let my hamsters run around there. I've shown it in a couple of um, previous vlogs before it's basically just a big empty space so that's something I'm going to be doing with um, pumpkin in the very near future. All right, so here she is. Let's just pop the ball in the cage.
So I'm now just going to leave Pumpkin to settle into her new enclosure because obviously it is quite a big change for her. It's going to take her a little while to settle in and as well she's in a whole new environment. It smells different, it's going to sound different. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned how old she is but she's around about six to seven months old now. So it's going to make it even harder to tame her but I'm going to keep you guys up to date with um, Pumpkin's progress anyway. A lot of people have been asking me to do taming videos, I might try but I'm going to be really 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 busy with college so it's going to be a little bit difficult. It is half time this week so I have a week off today is Monday and I don't go back until next Monday. That's perfect because in a way I'll be able to watch over her um, for this next week. If you want to follow Pumpkin's journey in more detail definitely follow me on Instagram. My Instagram for my hamsters is called Tiny Hamster Balls and I also have a personal one which is my name if you want to follow that one too. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog so bye for now guys. Bye.